Good day and welcome to JNN's Headline News. I'm Kimberly Wright. In the headlines at this time, the female security guard who was seen on video kicking a licensed firearm holder at an apartment complex on Braemar Avenue in St. Andrew last Monday has been dismissed by King Alarm. The security company held a press conference at the Jamaica Pegasus Hotel Thursday morning to address the incident which took place last week. The video of the incident, which included King Alarm security guards, a male security guard not in uniform, and a licensed firearm holder, has been circulating on social media. Managing Director of King Alarm John Azar clarified that the female security was one of three of the officers that were penalized by the company. He outlined that the guards responded to a panic alarm, which was received from the location. He says due to investigations being carried out by the JCF, PSRA and the FLA, he will not be sharing certain issues and opinions that might interfere with any of those ongoing investigations. Workers at the National Water Commission on Morasca Road and in St. Catherine staged a strike Thursday morning. Employees are upset that the manager refuses to sign years of outstanding supervisor traveling claim to an employee. Chief Unit Delegate for the National Workers Union, Winston Anderson, has described the incident as an act of victimization. The strike has resulted in both offices being closed. The parliamentary opposition is calling for the Auditor General to launch a probe at the National Energy Solutions Limited, NISOL. Members of Parliament's Public Administration and Appropriations Committee, PAAC, were left puzzled after it was revealed that acting chief en engineer at Nisol, Lawrence Pummels, retained signing privilege long after the period for which he acted in a supervisory post. Opposition spokesman on energy, Philip Hallwell, has suggested this is unusual and the Auditor General must now carry out a probe to ensure the operations at Nisol can stand up to scrutiny. And the Chairman of Parliament's Public Administration and Appropriations Committee, Dr. Wickham McNeil, says there is need for clear policy guidelines outlining the qualifications for senior positions in state agencies. This follows questions about the qualifications of some senior officers at Petrojam and National Energy Solutions Limited, NISA. Dr. McNeil says a recommendation should be made to the Cabinet Secretary on the issue. A former employee of the University of the West Indies Mona Campus has sued the institution claiming that the environment in which he worked contained asbestos which caused him to contract a type of cancer. Alton McLeod, a store's attendant, filed the claim last month seeking damages for, damages for negligence and breaches of the Occupier's Liability Act. And in international news... U.S. President Donald Trump arrived for a controversial two-day visit to the U.K. on Thursday, shrugging off the prospect of protests and declaring that he was popular with Britons because of his hardline stance on immigration. Trump said the British people shared his concerns on immigration, claiming that's why Brexit happened. And that's it for Headline News. Join us at 8 p.m. for more details in Frontline News. I'm Kimberly Wright, wishing you pleasant viewing.